got another poem for you. Um, it's about narcissists and um, how toxic they can be. So listen to me in my nice dressing gown. Okay, here we go. Coral's poetry, looking like a bit of a pimp. Where do I even begin to explain how deeply some people can cause you pain? And by people, I mean just certain types. Okay, it's with narcissists that I have my gripes. Whether they're diagnosed or not, there's certain behaviours that can't be forgot. Their toxicity seeps into your skin, insidiously dimming your light within. And they'll see your light from a mile away. And then the mind games will start to play. Hooking into your energy source while showering you with gifts and applause. You'll feel like the worthiest person alive. This level of love is what you needed to strive. And slowly the cracks might start to show. A few red flags here and there that disrupt your flow. You might call it out, but that's a mistake. Remember these people are take, take, take. A little pity party might be thrown instead. And on the eggshells you start to tread. And so now you're stuck in a loop of despair. Where you constantly question if you're being unfair. Your boundaries are crossed again and again, and they'll make you ask how, why, and when. I didn't do that. Stop telling these lies. You approaching the subject is such a surprise. So then you retreat because you don't want to fight, and you look up the meaning of the word gaslight. A term where your truth is fully denied, because your accusation has bruised their pride. Cognitive dissonance, that's another good term that all of us empaths need to learn. When reality becomes a little obscure and of yourself you become so unsure. And when you get to the point where you finally break, that's when the foundations will start to shake. They'll quickly find a new supply to feed their ego because with you it will die. And there you're left standing to pick up a mess. Or they run around with new things to impress. And they start a new cycle that goes round again and blame everything on you in their smear campaign. These people just cannot self-reflect. They're destructive by nature, but always deflect. Anything that confronts their own facade, how dare their perfect projections be marred. I'm not an expert with a psychology degree, but experience has me treading cautiously. And I say the same to you. Please don't be too soft. If you suspect a narcissist, Tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Drop the fire stick remote. <laughs> Thanks. Be careful.